So from here, another great option from, from a position where my partner gets to an underhook from half guard. I come in and from here, we take a near side underhook initially, and we use this to get to a body lock where I pull my partner's shoulders towards me and before my hand gets trapped, we lock a body lock around our partner. We lock our hands in one of three ways, a 10 finger, a palm to palm, and a wrist to wrist, the wrist to wrist being tightest. If you have problems with bad wrists, you always, the hand that you has the near side underhook, points palm up, and you put no pressure on your wrist. You put more pressure on your wrist by turning palm down, but you also put more pressure on your partner. It's a lot more uncomfortable. So I'll give you the choice between palm up and palm down. Okay. Now from here, we come in and we bring our head over our partner's far shoulder. Okay. Once our head comes over our partner's far shoulder, again, when she gets to sit up into me, because of the head position, it becomes very difficult. Now, because I have a near side underhook, I'm going to pass to this side. Right. If I pass to this side, you can do it, but just know your partner has a greater chance of using this underhook to come up in, to, uh, uh, in on top of you. Okay? So I always want to pass to the opposite side of the underhook. So from here, we're going to come in, we lock our hands, and bring our head over the far shoulder. Now, we bring our head to the floor for base. Now from here, as my partner goes to move me around, we just take our knee out and we slide two butterfly hooks in so we control the space between our partner's knees. From here, as we extend our right leg and bring our right knee to the floor, we pommel our left leg over. And then we slide our knee behind our partner's hips and we bring our head back to the opposite shoulder. When your partner goes to move from here, because of the position of the body lock, it completely controls your partner's hips. And now that under that overhook on your partner's hand just slides in. You have a top head and arm and a nice pin in top side control. Okay? So once again, from here, she comes into an underhook. We use that near side underhook to pull our partner towards us, and we lock a body lock instead of just the near side underhook this time. Now from here, we go over our partner's shoulder, and we bring our head to the floor. So that now from here, we insert a butterfly hook. As we free our knee, we bring our knee across to this side. So now when she goes to move around, I can always use a high right knee, and my left leg can come across. So that when she goes to bring her, elbow, her knees towards me, the butterfly hook stops it, and my knee is a post now. It's important if your partner bridges to have a, a wide right knee because your hands are occupied controlling her upper body. So the knee now is the base. What stops her knees from coming in is this hook on the side of her legs. Okay? So as I pass, I come across, she goes to bridge, and my right knee's out. My butterfly hook blocks her knees from coming in, and now from here I extend my left leg to bring her knees away from me, and her head comes over the far shoulder. Now the overhook, the cross face comes in, the underhook comes in, and we have a nice top pin out inside control.